Pollution is a major problem in the world currently. It is easy to place blames on other people or on governments but each one of us are responsible for the current situation. More than 40% of lakes and rivers in the world are contaminated. And this is the case in one Cascajo wetlands in Peru. Once home to more than a thousand species of migratory birds, and an oasis of peace and relaxation. Marino Marikawa. Like most people enjoyed this place as a young kid. He used to go there fishing with his dad. But after years of contamination, the area became choked with rubbish and the lake became filled with toxic materials. In 2010, when he was an environmental scientist working at Tsukuba University Laboratories in Japan, his father told him that, the Cascajo wetlands were so contaminated, that they were about to be capped. He decided to return to Peru to see it for himself. But when Marino returned, the area looked like an oxidation pond. Twenty years had passed since his last visit. He discovered foul-smelling waters in a critical stage of decay. The huge 150 hectares of wetland had diminished to a mere 40 hectares. All this was due to illegal landfills and rearing of animals. Authorities have given up on salvaging the wetlands. But cometh the hour cometh the man by the name Marino Murikawa. He holds a PhD in bio-industrial science and specializes in water treatment. He did not think twice but to take up the challenge. He approached the mayor, and asked to restore the wetlands. And even though the mayor couldn't understand, how he would manage to do it alone, he agreed. Marino told him he would raise funds himself. Being unsuccessful to raise money in Peru he tried to do it in Japan, but it was not easy to get funding. He took all his savings, borrowed money from three banks, and returned to Peru. He made it his personal commitment, no one refunded him the money. While it took Marino six months of research to develop the nanotechnology system, the practical application went comparatively quickly, in just four months, he had decontaminated the entire wetlands. At least 40 species of migratory birds have returned to El Cascajo Lake, and 10 fish species have come back to inhabit its waters. His methods are considered a true innovation and will be used as well in the future. This is just a small step towards the larger picture of tackling the giant in the world by the name of pollution being done by local heroes to the world.